corporate conundrums, top tips. Nicola, what are we on today? Today, Wendy, we're going to be looking at estimating with confidence. Okay. We regularly go through processes of estimating as to how long things will take, how much things will cost, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. how much resource we might need. But we tend to say, oh, but it's just an estimate. We don't say it with confidence because really we're not confident in our estimate. There's a number of steps that we can take to get a greater confidence yes. so that when we do give an estimate, it's getting much closer to reality. Go for it. Number one. Okay. So number one, the first thing you have to say is how certain am I, how confident am I in the specification? So if it was building a house, for example, then you might say, how confident am I that the customer knows exactly what they really want? Yep, how yep, confident yep. am I in how they've specified it? Do we have the right level of documentation? Um, is the documentation spelled out literally to not just 10 windows, but 10 brown windows, 10 brown plastic windows? And number two. <laughs> number two is then maturity. So it's about the maturity of the organization. How many times have we done this before? Yeah. How many times have our suppliers done this before? And even how many times have our customers done this before? Okay, great. Because the more mature we are, the more uh, less of a range we'll need within our estimate. The less mature we are, the bigger the range. Indeed, I get that. And uh, number three. The number three is all around assumptions. There's a number of assumptions we will have to make because never do we have it that we know absolutely yes, everything. Yes, yes. And we have to assume yes. that people are available. We have to assume that, that we won't have bad weather. We have to make assumptions. And you have to be really confident. So looking back over the years, can you look at data to say that that has always happened and therefore that assumption yes. is, has a high level of confidence? Or actually, is it something we're not sure will ever happen? So it could hit us, but it might not. So we need to look at the confidence in our assumptions. Great stuff. Okay. And number four. Well, number four links back really well to our risk management podcast that we did. So if yeah. you haven't seen that, have a look on our uh, page. But anyway, this is about quantifying risks. <laughs> yeah, the page over there. Um, this is about quantifying the risk. So we now have, we know what we want to build. We know how mature our organization is and how confident we are in our assumptions. Yeah. But there's always going to be risk. Yes. Is the risk that we can't get the supply of materials on okay. time? Yeah, is yeah. the risk that our staff will all be ill with a, a, some kind of unexpected illness? And we need to quantify those risks, go through the five steps from other podcasts, and then build the amount of money or time that those Required. risks identified yeah. into this estimate. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so in, in a contingency. Indeed. Absolutely. Indeed. We need to build in contingency. And lastly, the fifth one, number five. Number five, it's critical to review past projects and then yes. to review this one once it's happened. So that you can look back and say, I estimated this. And this, this is, is what, what really costs. happened. Yeah. Why is it different? So that when I come around to doing my next estimate, I can build it into my certainty and my maturity. So each time you do it, you get better. And better exactly. So and the better. more mature you become, your ranges can become much more narrow and you can be much more confident. Great. So a quick recap. Number one is certainty. Mm -hmm. Number two is just what you've said, being mature, gaining the maturity through doing the estimating. Number uh, three is the assumptions and having, uh, being confident in having those assumptions based on the previous ones. Quantifying your risk and building in the contingency for that is number four. And lastly, number five, make sure you continually review the process so that you're actually progressing and each time you do it, your estimating becomes more and more confident. Okay. Well, thank you for listening. Make sure you tick that bell and join us for future podcasts. Bye. Bye. Bye.